Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you some information regarding your intestinal health and share with you why your intestinal health is so important and what you can do to effectively influence and keep your intestines healthy and working properly so that your body can function optimally uh, to live in a healthier and uh, higher state of well-being. So today I want to talk about intestinal health and how prebiotics and probiotics uh, help to keep your intestines healthy and support the intestines and in doing their job to function optimally and really properly like they're supposed to within your body. So first, to, to understand why prebiotics and probiotics are important, you have to first understand the importance of intestinal health and the importance of small intestine, the small intestine and the large intestine. Now, when you eat food, your food obviously you know goes down your throat, esophagus, and it goes all the way down into your digestive system, and it goes... It, it basically splits off within your small intestine and your large intestine. Uh, well, it doesn't I guess it doesn't split off, but it goes through both. But um, uh, basically, what happens is it goes through the small intestine. The small intestine uh, essentially removes impurities in the liquid form, and then that goes to the bladder and the kidneys. So uh, that's the first kind of purification uh, breakdown process within the small intestine, and then the large intestine essentially it takes the solids and that's what creates, creates uh, your bowel movements, your stool, your feces. So the large and small intestines are uh, organs within your digestive system and within your digestive process that help to break down and remove to expel waste uh, in liquid or solid form. Basically that's their job within the body. Now the important thing to understand is that the intestines need probiotics, which are positive or good bacteria, in order to actually break down food, in order to break down uh, those, those nutrients and, and to make them bioavailable to the body uh, and to, to properly use those. So uh, the liquid and solid form of nutrition and waste, things need to be removed and things need to stay within your body. That's basically the best way to sum it up. So prebiotics are, P, that's P E. P R E biotics, B I O T I C. Prebiotics are essentially uh, compounds that lead to the development of probiotics within your intestines. So, prebiotics, there's different foods that have prebiotics within them, artichokes and uh, different roots and things like that. And I'll actually include a list right below this video of the top five or ten uh, prebiotic foods so that you can include those in your diet more so that it gives your body those good those prebiotics to create good probiotics and bacteria within the gut. But because of today's uh, you know, modernized world and the world we live in, we're constantly exposed to bad bacteria uh, even in like, the shower water that we shower in or when brushing our teeth or when even just drinking water because a lot of people flush antibiotics and antibiotic. Biotic means life. Antibiotic means anti-life. Probiotic means pro-life. Antibiotics just kill all bacteria. So because there's antibiotics in our water, uh, there's antibiotics, uh, some of us take on antibiotics, uh, it's killing the bad bacteria, it's killing the bad microbes within our intestines. And because of that, we need to reinstill those within our intestines to give our body the good bacteria it needs to fight uh, the bad bacteria, to uh, break down food and nutrients, and to work properly. And bacteria, good bacteria, uh, bacteria is kind of a living, moving thing. Bacteria is in our soil, it's in our world, it's all over us, it's in our environment. And there's good and bad bacteria, and the good bacteria boosts our immunity and helps our digestive process. Bad bacteria just weakens it. So probiotics are good bacteria that we need more of. So you can get prebiotics in your diet through different plant-based foods, and I, like I said, I'll include a list of those below. But you can also get probiotics in your diet through things like kimchi, which is an, uh, an, a dish from Asia, but you can obviously get it anywhere really. Uh, which is uh, kind of a blend of vegetables that are fermented over time and it has that positive uh, bacteria, the probiotic within it. Kimchi is another uh, vegetable, it's just fermented cabbage that comes from Germany and, and it's in other European countries, but once again, obviously we've all, most, most of us at least, have had sauerkraut before, so that's another way to get probiotics in your diet. And other great ways to get probiotics in your diet are through drinking kombucha. Kombucha is a fermentation process to include probiotics in it. And then uh, kefir as well. Uh, kefir, I recommend non-dairy kefir personally just because it's cleaner, leaner, and your body doesn't have to deal with the dairy and potential inflammation uh, from uh, IGF-1 and different hormones. Uh, things and all sorts of things. So I recommend non-dairy kefir, but you can make non-dairy kefir or uh, kombucha or uh, kimchi or uh, kombucha, uh, sauerkraut. There's a lot of different things here. You can make those all at home. Uh, 
in, in your free time. I mean, it's just something you can make at home uh, or you can buy them at your local health food store. So include those in your diet for good sources of probiotics. And then for prebiotics, make sure to check out the list below. And then one more thing you can do also is uh, I, I occasionally take probiotics just to give my gut microbes some diversity within the probiotic realm, if you will. And I take Garden of Life Raw, Pro Raw Probiotics, Men 15 and Wiser, and I'll link that up below along with the Sunbiotics probiotic and prebiotic combination that's USDA organic. And these taste like candy, they're delicious, the Sunbiotics one. Uh, I'll link both of these up below so that you can uh, check them out and if you want to reinstill good uh, gut bacteria, that's a way to do it as well. But just keep in mind that by doing this, you are improving your gut bacteria and you're giving your small and large intestines the good bacteria needs to break things down uh, to create a healthier excretion process within the urine and feces so that your body removes what it needs to. And it, it also creates a better absorption process because probiotics enhance absorption and bioavailability of nutrients, which gives your body more of what it needs. So it helps your digestive system and if you want to uh, kind of uh, keep your, well, your colon, your, uh, your, your whole digestive system healthy, uh, the benefits are you're keeping your digestive system healthy, it keeps you thinner, it keeps your, uh, it keeps like uh, bloating and inflammation and gas and just uncomfortable uh, indi indigestion away. And then it is also very good for your brain too because new research is now showing that brain health is, uh, well, you, there's, there's a brain in your gut essentially. So uh, we have our brain up here, but then we have a brain in our gut. And I believe that the healthier our gut is and the more positive uh, microbes, the more probiotics we have there, uh, the healthier it is and the better that brain works. So we've all heard of like gut feelings, for example, we've all had gut feelings before. I believe personally that our gut feelings are more aligned and stronger and work more often to make better decisions if we have a healthier gut with uh, probiotics in it. So um, I think it has to do with instinct and intuition as well and just being more clear-headed because when you have uh, sufficient probiotics within your gut, your digestive system, digestive system works better, removes what it needs to and it gives more ability for your brain to function clearly uh, without being clouded and having clouded th thinking and things like that. So you can get prebiotics in your food by eating a, a rich plant-based diet, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds, things like that. And then I will link up below the top five or 10 foods that contain prebiotics or uh, kind of instill prebiotics within the body so that you can include those foods in your diet. So I'll link that up below. I'll also link up the probiotic and prebiotic supplements below because sometimes when you're getting uh, started, it's just good to kind of give yourself a supplement and food so that your body really, uh, really, uh, really reinstills that balance quicker. Uh, so the benefits you get for it is a healthy digestive system, healthy colon, healthy digestive system as a whole, a uh, healthier body, uh, you'll stay thinner, leaner, and you'll just feel better and healthier overall. Uh, and then the brain and your gut works better as well. So uh, make sure to eat kombucha, or excuse me, make sure to eat sauerkraut kimchi and to drink kombucha and non-dairy kefir. Uh, those are great sources of probiotics as well. And uh, make sure to keep your small and large intestine healthy so they can do their job properly and do what they need to do within the body. Um, that's it for this video. My name is David Benjamin. I'm the founder of HealthyWildFree.com as well as the Healthy Wild and Free podcast in iTunes. Make sure to subscribe and check that out. And check out the information below and the link. Uh, like this video, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your feedback, uh, appreciation, anything. And uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel below for future updates and future videos as well. I'm doing the best I can in my life to improve, enhance, optimize my mind, body, and spirit. And I'd love for you to be a part of this community of like-minded people and to be on that journey yourself in your own life as well. So subscribe below. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.